Carrie and this is a little pup that we are calling Holly. Um, she was pulled um, today just a few minutes ago from the shelter. Um, she was actually scheduled for euthanasia um, in the morning because the shelter is full. Um, one thing that we noticed about her is that she looks very pregnant and unfortunately the shelter just does not have room and they will sometimes elect to euthanize the pregnant dogs um, you know, to stop them from reproducing so that they don't also have all the puppies in the shelter um, because space is a real issue. So we wanted to try to get her out of there before she had the puppies um, because we didn't want her to be euthanized and we also didn't know if she was going to have puppies tonight because she seems very, very pregnant. Um, we're going to go ahead and take some x-rays of her and we are going to try to count puppies and kind of get an idea of how developed they are so we can get some idea of when she might have these things. We are looking at Holly's radiographs. Um, this is her laying on her side. Her head is over here, and then here's her tail. And all these little skeletons are her babies. And I try to count the heads, and some people count spines, but when I count it, it's one, two, three, four, or five. Somebody already joked she couldn't just have two big babies because that never happens. You never get that lucky. But so she looks like she has five babies in there. They look rather large. They're almost completely developed um, so and she has milk already so I think we're probably only a few days away the male dog that she was picked up with as a stray is a lot bigger than her and so my immediate concern is that she may need a c-section but we're just gonna have to see how she does unassisted and then if needed we'll all pop in there and do what we need to do to get these babies safely out so over the weekend she had her puppies and I am super excited. So like lots of moms, she waited until this whole place was quiet and everybody went home. Um, then we got here and she had had five healthy puppies by the next morning. So she's still kind of weary of us just because she hasn't had a lot of socialization. Um, and also even more so now because she has these babies, but she's good. There's three boys and two girls and she is doing so good nursing them. Um, allowing them to nurse and cleaning them, so she is doing just perfect. We're going to give her some privacy and just let her do her thing. They're so cute! They're so freaking cute! So they're five days old today and we're sending our babies to their foster because we worry about them um, being exposed to other pets that are sick here, so they'd be much safer out of here. They are going crazy. They, I feel like they've doubled in size, but that may just be me. So she's being a great mom and she's healthy and eating great. So she's out the door. We'll probably recheck her every week or so um, and then go ahead and get these puppies dewormed as well. We are checking on our little babies, Holly's puppies, who have names now. Um, they are so fat and their eyes just open. They're two weeks old. You can see the little kind of bluish haze over their eyes, which is normal. They're humongous. Um, this one is Fig. It's Fig. And Fig's a little girl. It's Hermie. It's okay, Hermie. Hermie is a little boy. He's so cute. Clove. Clove is a boy. <laughs> Bumble. And Bumble is also a boy. It's one of the eye patches. I just cannot help but squeeze them and get them. Wow, chestnut. So cute, and Chestnut's a little girl. I can't stand it. We will check on them again next week and watch them grow, but weight-wise, health-wise, they are doing amazing. All right, the babies are one week older. Are you ready for cuteness? Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're One week later! Stop it right now, they're so cute. You know nothing wrong with feeling strong, but I know what you're going through. I know cause you've been there too. I don't walk right and I don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong, but I wanna be there for you, honey. Working my job and making money. So today we are doing Holly's final recheck. We went ahead and updated her on her vaccines because there's some uh, that you cannot do whenever they're pregnant. 
So she's updated on vaccines and now they're going to go ahead and get her spayed so she can go to her forever home. And we're checking on these crazy puppies. I'm put her down. Checking on all of her little crazy babies, which are now weaned, so she's not nursing them anymore. And we are going to vaccinate them, do a quick exam, um, and then check their stool for parasites just to make sure there's nothing we missed. And then they are going to be ready to go to Forever Homes too. So they're doing amazing and we're so thankful for you guys' um, donations and watching our videos because it certainly allowed us to pull Holly. Um, she was probably within 24 hours or less of being euthanized. So we weren't just able to save Holly, we were able to save Holly and also her five babies. So six lives saved that day. So we call that a success of marriage. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. job and making money